Hey, what's going on guys? Pizza Lake here and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can flip a video vertically and horizontally or how to turn a video from the left to the right side or how to turn the video upside down. So I've got a two videos already loaded in Premiere Pro and the first thing I'm going to do is go to effects and type down flip straight away. We're going to go down to transform. And from there, we're gonna use those horizontal and vertical flip effects. So I'm gonna grab the horizontal flip first and apply it to the video. And you can see that straight away, we turn the video from right to left. And once we've done this, I'm gonna go and grab the vertical flip and apply it as well. And this time we turn the video upside down. And that's how simple you can flip any video or images in Premiere Pro. Also, I want to show you how you can create a super cool parallel world animation by using the vertical flip. And in that case, I'll be using the city somewhere, I don't know where, somewhere around the world. And the first thing I'll do is hold out and duplicate the video. Then I'm gonna go back to effects and take this vertical flip effect and apply it to the duplicated layer. And now we've got the second video turned upside down. Then make sure that it's selected and go to the program monitor and click twice and drag it upwards until it meets the middle of the screen. Something like that. Okay. And then I'm going to do exactly the same with the second video. I'm going to select it and drag it down so that we can match both guys somewhere in the middle of the screen. Like that. I think it's perfect. And I'm going to track the second video a little bit further upwards and then I'm going to do exactly the same with the first one. Okay, I think now it's perfect. They match perfectly at the middle of the screen, but still we can see that there is kind of line between both videos. So to fix that, I'm going to select duplicated video and let me just increase the screen a little bit so you can see better. Then after I selected the duplicated video, I'm going to go back to the fake control panels, go down to opacity and click onto the rectangle mask. Once we've done this, we're going to go back to the program monitor and you can see that now we've got the mask, but it's too small. And I will expand it by clicking on those dots. I'm going to click on this one first and then I'm going to hold shift and click on the second one. So when we drag it to the left, we're going to drag both dots like that and then I'm going to do exactly the same with the right part of the mask and then drag this one down like that and then this one and then the both top ones like that and once we have covered the whole video with the mask then we're going to go back to the effect control panel and go to the mask feather and now we're going to increase it somewhere until let's say 50 and when i deselect it and increase the screen you can see that there is no line at all and it looks perfect but what's going to make this even better i'm going to add some music but you can see it's too big for this video and Guess what? I'm going to use the Remix tool, which is super cool and easy to use. Just going to drag it to the left until the end of the video. Then I'm going to drag it to the right. And the only thing left to be done is to play this video and see what we've done. And with that, I'll conclude this tutorial. I hope you gained some value from it. And if you did so, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Also, if you'd like to see more tutorials about Premiere Pro, you can check the videos somewhere around the screen. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.